first look at MIUI VN or MIUI Vietnam mod based on MIUI 12.5 and Android 11 running on the POCO F3, the Redmi K40 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. This is how the ROM comes out of the box. You do have access to MIUI system launcher, which means you do have pretty good looking and pretty great animations. Then power menu, bam, here it is. Yes, the power menu is customizable with different theme options. Volume panel, here it is. This is how your volume panel looks like. And as you can see, slide to test timer, slide to test timer. So they do have sliders for a bunch of different options over here. Next up, let us have a look at the control panel. So here it is. This is how your control panel looks like. You do have your data usage in the quick setting tile. Swipe down, brightness slider is now pinned to the bottom and the effect is pretty cool as well. If you swipe across, you should be able to access the other notifications. Press and hold on any notification. You do get the option of allow, snooze and more. And then you can, of course, swipe back to access your quick settings panel. Now, since this is running your MIUI system launcher, you are able to customize a lot of things. So for starters, you can change your minus one screen to be either Google Discover or MIUI App Vault. The option of changing system navigation from here is broken. You can change the icon style and the icon size. You can change your home screen layout and have a look at that list. A big list for your home screen layout then you have a toggle for global icon animations you can arrange the recents vertically or horizontally as well and as you can see i do have the horizontal style right now does look pretty cool and floating windows is also present works without any issues next up let us head over to the settings and have a look at the customizations you get in wallpaper and personalization so this here is your preview of the lock screen and the home screen tap on aod always on display options in the building you can of course display the items whichever one you want to based on a specific schedule and then you also have a bunch of different themes available for your always on display so yes you do have some pretty cool looking animal themes and you also have some business screens along with some dynamic screens as well and time blind box funny screen so yes you do have a bunch of options for aod all of them are working without any issues tap on the second option this is your lock screen layout again four different options feel free to add your owner info in case you want to then you can customize your icon style and icon size as well so if i tap on style i do have four different options and you can always download more from their store go into wallpaper here it is you do have super wallpapers so three are baked in in fact let me tap on more and see so no you have all five super live wallpaper options baked into the rom along with some cool looking static wallpapers as well tap on ringtones here is the new tiled ui which does remind you of windows mobile os but yes you do have the new ui for your ringtones notifications alarms and if you go into effects this is your notification effect so you have light up screen rhythm pulse and your starlight option go into fonts here it is you can change the size of the font as well use whatever one you want to use tap on themes and my themes you do have four themes baked into the rom and you can always download more from the miui store do note this will load the miui china store if i remember correctly next up we have always on display and lock screen so some of the options here we have already covered in the previous section like your always on display the notification effect but you can also change your notification icons whether you want them colored or default so these are your customizations for the always on display then you also have lock screen settings you can change the time raise to wake is present double tap to wake is also there along with a toggle to enable or disable the unread message on the lock screen then you can also change your lock screen clock format you can display the charging animation after the device is locked and you have three options for your lock screen charging animations along with double press the volume button to open the camera when the screen is locked let us check the double tap on empty space to lock double tap to wake working without any issues of course i do have a fingerprint setup and while you're talking about the fingerprint the fingerprint on this build is like super blazing fast i mean no doubt about that 
next up you have display so in display you of course have the option of light mode and dark theme you can schedule your dark theme disable the global dark mode and if you go into more dark mode options you have toggles to adjust wallpaper to dark mode adjust text and backgrounds automatically to your dark mode and you can also control on a per app basis what applications you want to be or not be in your dark mode then you can change the brightness level and surprise surprise something which global builds do not have anti-flicker mode is present or dc dimming working without any issues then you have reading mode enable the toggle and you have two different options classic or paper and then you can also schedule your reading mode go into color scheme multiple options and you can also enable adaptive colors and then change the temperature of the color as well so you have default warm cool and custom use whichever one you want to use next up you also have refresh rate and with miui vn you can set it to 60 90 or 120 stock miui does not have 90 only 60 and 120 so they have added the option for 90 do note that poco f3 or mi 11x does not support variable refresh rate so you cannot do something like 30 50 you can do like 60 90 and 120 only then you also have your ai theme engine which is your memc and image enhancement using hdr you also have a toggle to use the new miui fonts go into font settings you can change the size and you also have a toggle for auto rotate screen in case you want to round the windows and you can also change the size of your picture in picture window next option we have over here is sound and touch so we already covered the notification ringtone and alarm sounds then you also have sliders for the different volume levels sound assistant is present this is your per app volume control then you also have your dnd and you have a cool looking toast notification for your dnd you can of course schedule your dnd turn on and turn off time as well then you have toggles for vibrate while ringing vibrate in silent mode profile video for incoming calls is there so if somebody calls you you can set up a video which is going to play on the screen when they call you additional settings you have toggles for all the options including the toggle to disable the screenshot sound and the super irritating boot audio go into sound effects you do have dolby atmos and a bunch of other options all of which are working without any issues next up we have customization for your notifications and control center so for starters you can control notifications on a per app basis then you can change your notification shade between miui and android and you also have the option for group notifications next up you do have notification effect which is the same thing we covered in the aot section you can change your control center style so if you want the old school quick settings panel you can use that or use the ios cloned control center smart home this is like when you connect your smart home devices they will show up in the control center area if you have this enabled then items to show on lock screen so do you want to see the notifications shade the control center and smart home on your lock screen or not when you swipe down to access the control center then we have status bar customization so icons in the status bar network type in status bar toggle do you want to see the notification icons you have a toggle for colored notification icons as well what is the number of notification icons you want to see do you want to see your network traffic indicator or not do you want to see the carrier when device is locked carrier name is there then you also have customization for your battery indicator notification shade shortcut is also present along with your switches in one line and in all lines in your notification shade you can of course hide the notch as well but it is still going to use the notch area for your status bar everything just stays there but this is now turned into a black bar so your punch hole camera is not an eyesore anymore and you can also control the notch in individual applications and a toggle to show the weather or not next up we have home screen so other than your standard options of customizing the launcher you do have the option of customizing your power menu so right now we have power menu 6 this is how it looks like let us change this to say power menu 8 and here it is that is how power menu 8 looks like they also have a miui 13 style so here it is this is how the miui 13 style is going to look like other than that you also have customization for your 
icon captions, the shadows, number of columns in the folder, but you also have double tap customization on the home screen. I have set it as turn off the screen. You can change it to say switch on Wi-Fi, switch off Wi-Fi, and you can also customize the swipe up gesture on your home screen as well. Wallpaper and themes. We covered this in your wallpaper and personalization and always on display and lock screen. So we are going to jump over to password and security. So you do have your screen lock fingerprint unlock and face unlock all those options are working without any issues now once you set up your fingerprint unlock you can of course change the recognition method to either touch or to press the power button then you also have toggles to use the fingerprint for lock screen privacy password app lock and fingerprint payments are there so widevine l1 is working without any issues next up we have security so here and you can check your devices security and let us say set a screen lock so you can do that from here you can enter a passcode for your shutdown confirmation find the device can be turned on or off emergency sos can be sent in case you are in danger and you can scan and have a fake base station for your gps location block list stuff so yes you can block list calls and sms messages security scan is present so a bunch of different options are present in your security option next up we have privacy protection so here and you have your awareness and protection two options you can view all the application behavior then if you tap on privacy awareness here and you can protect your clipboard receive notifications about deleted photographs so in case you're trying to delete photographs you are going to get a notification for that even if you're doing it from the gallery application detect privacy risks app behavior so Privacy is a major concern these days and in China MIUI builds, they are focusing on it. Sadly, global builds don't get all those features. Go into protection, here and you have your network interception, privacy mask, private space, incognito mode, lock the applications, second space, dual apps. So all these options are present over here. Next up, you have the option of apps. So in apps, you have managing the system apps, and then you also have manage home screen shortcuts so whatever toggle you disable application is going to be frozen and removed from your home screen uninstalled system apps is supposed to get the option of removing system installed applications but right now they have not implemented that so i hope they do implement that in the future because that is a pretty important feature which they bragged about in miui 12.5 then you also have dual apps and it works without any issues app lock is present and we of course missed out on the battery sections so you do have your battery saver ultra battery saver is also present you have the graphical view wherein you can see on a per hour basis as well what all applications were draining battery during a specific time range go into battery it is going to tell you about your battery usage the temperature how many times you've charged it you can schedule your power on and off automated tasks are there so here it is let us say you want to turn on your airplane mode from a specific time or say turn on silent mode when battery reaches 20 percent all those customization options are present in the battery section next up we have additional settings so here and you can of course change your region so region is not locked go into full screen display and you can configure your full screen gestures hide the indicator at the bottom as well go into gesture shortcuts you can of course press and hold the power button for 0.5 seconds to access your google assistant then you do have three finger screenshot working without any issues partial screenshot is also present so press and hold with three fingers bam here it is partial screenshot in the building and it does work without any issues then we have turn on torch so double press the power button to turn on the torch let us give it a try double press yep and double press one more time it turned off similarly if you go into your back tap you can customize the double tap on back and triple tap so i do have a case on right now so it might be a bit sensitive but let us give it a try yep there it is it finally worked so it works but not as good as you would want it to be with a case 
on then in your gesture shortcuts you also have double tap the fingerprint sensor so right now it is set to turn on torch let us say take a screenshot so in this case you don't have to press you just double tap let us give it a try double tap bam screenshot taken so yes they have added some pretty cool looking customizations then you also have your quick ball one-handed mode and the option to clear the speaker next up we have screen time so here you have your dashboard how many minutes or hours have you spent on your phone how many times you've unlocked it you can set a daily screen limit in case you want to and you can also enable focus mode so if you want to stay away from your device that option is also present special features has game turbo video toolbox floating windows second space and light mode next up we have privacy so here then you have your permissions manager you can choose what all sensors are allowed access to what all applications then you also have a toggle to show the passwords autofill google service and a bunch of other options go into location you have a master toggle for location access and then you can see what all applications have requested access to location next up we can have a look at the applications so you do have the new weather application which does look pretty great then for the gallery application again you have the new gallery application over here as well with the option of your collage video editor and if you go into the settings of the gallery you have select the best photo memories secure sharing is present so you can share your pictures and videos without sharing the location info and the meta data talking about the camera application this is how your camera application is going to look like you do have 48 megapixel mode short video vlog mode is there slow motion with respect to the video option i do not see the option for 4k 60 fps so you have 720p 180p 1080p 60 and 4k 30 so unfortunately i do not see the option for 4k 60 unless you can enable it in the settings somewhere nope so i do not see the option of enabling 4k 60 however if you're going to customize you can of course change the colors or the accent color of your camera application with respect to your phone app again you get the miui phone application and the same thing applies for your messaging application as well now based on your region some bloatware might be installed and activated however you can always go ahead and install the bloatware that is not an issue as you can see facebook was removed and we can also remove the netflix application as well next thing we can check for is safety net so here it is magisk is installed device is not rooted have only installed the application let us check for safety net so as you can see safety net is failing let us also go to the google play store and play protect certification device is not certified this means you will have to root your device and then enable magisk hide for safety net to pass and for you to be able to use your banking apps in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine Live caption not present in MIUI, but picture in picture is there and it works without any issues. Of course, for picture in picture to work, either you need to have YouTube Premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase YouTube Premium. Then we can also have a look at the app opening animations to see if there are any lags, any jitters in the UI. Well, I do not see any lag or any jitter in the UI. Recents pretty smooth pretty fast let us also try to switch between a few applications to see if there are any issues with the gestures so again no issues with the switching gesture as well you can also try to access our google feed only if i can enable it so let me go into settings more minus one screen is set as google discover however it is not showing up so that might be a bug in this build let us unlock the device give it one more try yep not able to access my google feed so that is a bug on this build so what is the final take on miui vn or miui vietnam mod well all in all i think this is a pretty good rom it has more features than your stock rom which we get for the global and international variants of miui devices the only thing is they might have to fix their safety net failing and a few other minor bugs but all in all the rom is smooth and you do get some pretty cool features like setting the display refresh rate as 90 hertz and then your dc dimming is also present so again i would recommend you to try out this rom and see how you like it and 
There it is peeps, that was our first look at MIUI VN running on the POCO F3, the Redmi K40 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.